Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can automatically create a nested folder structure inside your SharePoint document library using Power Automate. As you can see, I have this Excel sheet where I have a company column and a department column. I want to create a folder structure inside my document library with these uh, company columns name and inside each company, I want to create these subfolder. Let's just talk about how we can do this using Power Automate. Before going ahead, I have formatted this data as in table so that we can pick it from Power Automate. Once this is done, I will upload this Excel sheet to my SharePoint document library. You can upload it into your OneDrive as well. That's up to your choice. I have a user data document library where I have this Excel sheet with the name of company data. I have created another document library with the name of org data where I'll be creating this nested folder structure. I'll go into my Power Automate, try to create an instant cloud flow with a manual trigger. Flow name will be create folder. Once there, next step will be Excel online for business list row present in table. I will select location my SharePoint site. Document library name is user data as you can see here and I have Excel sheet with the name of company data. I'll go in my folder company data and table name is table 1. Once I have these data, next step will be search for SharePoint, create new folder, select site address, again same site, this time library name changes to org data. As you can see, this is the org data where we have to create folder. So I've selected org data and the folder path will be list row present in table, this company column because this is my root folder path, right? Once I do this, it puts me inside apply to ease because I have uh, multiple rows in my Excel sheet. As you can see, the folder path is company. Just saving my data. Next step will be uh, again, create folder, new folder, select uh, again your same site address, same library name and in the folder path this time I'm going to select department instead of company. Once I do this, put me inside apply to each. As we go inside, we have to recreate this folder path. So what I'm going to do is I have already applied to each here. I will drag this apply to each inside my this apply to each. Now you will see when I go to the folder path, you have option create a new folder title. So what this doing is whenever it is running an apply to each, it's creating a folder and that folder has a property called title, which is I'm capturing in my another apply to each to, to capture the root folder path and inside that I can search for department which is my list row present in table department. So what this will do for each uh, list row present in table it will create a folder and inside that folder it will apply to each for the department value and create folder inside my root folder and then with the name of this department column. I will save this one. Try to run my flow. Continue. Run flow. Done. I'll refresh my this org data folder 
as you can see one folder is already created there with the subfolders name are already there and uh, we'll wait our flow to complete it will create folder structure like that now as you can see my flow succeeded all the action are completed now I'll go to my document library as you can see if I select from top there is 19 uh, root folder created and if I go randomly inside any of the folder there has been a subfolder created so you can check it from so you can check it for any of the company name right all the subfolder has been created so that's the way you can create a nested folder structure inside a SharePoint document library and you can tweak your requirement a little bit and can play according to your requirement as well uh, it is recommended if you're uh, trying to create a folder structure less than 100 I would recommend you can use this uh, power automate flow but if you are trying to create uh, a, you know and a large volume of nested folder structure then I would recommend you to go with the PowerShell I hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching